Good morning everyone, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are. Uh, today we are continuing working on this ephemera folio which we are making from Amazon packaging in this new series here on my channel from Trash to Treasure. And today we are going to be adding at least one more trash element which is a junk mail envelope. You guys know I love using or reusing junk mail envelopes in my projects. So we are going to do something with this and this one is with a window which is another thing that I love. And let me just remind you very quickly of what we have. Uh, we've turned an envelope from Amazon which is this size. I actually realized I didn't tell you guys the size before. So this is nine inches by seven I suppose it's it's like their mm, quite mm, standard size of those envelopes it's very sturdy it's very nice for a cover so if you wanted to make a journal cover out of it it would be awesome as well and we use these beautiful papers from my porch prints and some printables here and they're from Lorna Taylor my journal some from Digital Curio there is some heat embossing, gold heat embossing, stitching and there is even some embossing on those flowers. Not sure if you can see but I embossed them with clear embossing powder and the only thing um, I did kind of off camera is I added two more velcro dots to the closure uh, so it closes like this and I did this because this is very sturdy and stiff and one dot just wasn't holding it right but three are doing a great job and we have a lot of space here if you can see for expanding this with our ephemera so this is nice and when we open it up we have the inside cover which has been beautifully collaged or I mean uh, the papers that I used are so beautiful. This is from my porch prints, some handmade digital papers from uh, Digital Curio, some beautiful vintage uh, writings from Lorna Taylor made journals, all that good stuff. And here we are going to be putting our pages like I showed you last time. So we are going to be binding them here in the middle. But I thought I wanted to do something fine, find something fun uh, for this inside cover, and I thought I would use the window envelope for this. So, what I had in mind was, I thought I could use um, use it to make like a flip, like this, a flip pocket, flip something and cover it with one of the pages from the My Porch Prince kit, uh, which is among wildflowers, and I will link it below. And yeah, and we'll go from there. From there. So I don't need it to be this uh, long or this tall, actually. I'm going to cut it open here on, on the top. And on the side and then I'm going to to make it roughly the same uh, size, the same length so to speak as the page, as the book page book page, as the kit page that I'm using Oops. and this way we can cover this whole part yeah and you can see that the page from the kit that i'm going to be using is uh, larger on this side and that's great because i'm going to fold it when i glue it and i'm going to make it in a into a hinge okay so this is going to be flipping uh, attached to to this piece so Perfectly, you would like to choose a page which, you know, you won't be sad about sacrificing a little bit of uh, the pattern or the design on the left here. And, okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do to do it off camera, 
I'm going to take a die, a metal die, which is going to be pretty much the size of this here, and I'm going to die cut a piece of my paper. And then we are going to glue the the piece on the kind of on the back. You will see what I mean. I'm just going to die cut a little uh, like a rectangle uh, here and I'll be back. So I decided to go with this slightly ragged rectangle because everything here is ragged and we have all those torn edges so I thought this would just look nice and now I'm going to ink the inside to make it more visible that this is uh, a cut window. So inking it with my vintage photo and as per usual, well usual for me, I'm also going to uh, gild the inside of this. So I will use my gold paste and I will go around it, uh, around the inside here with my finger. Okay. Let me move this. Mm -hmm. So I hope everyone is okay. I hope you guys are getting back to normal after Christmas slowly, but you know, comfortably. I hope you guys still have a few days off maybe from work. I do, I'm actually uh, going back to my corporate job on 7th of January, so I have quite a break, which is amazing because I can concentrate on my creative work and on making videos and all that. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going to go and glue this down onto my envelope. So let me take my, my glue book, open this up. And I'm going to go with my glue stick as per usual. Again, I'm probably going to go over it also with my sewing machine. And uh, that's why I'm not too, like, I'm not super careful about it. And I do have a little bit of the white here. I'm going to trim it. And I did it because, I left it because um, I wanted this particular image, you know. I didn't want to move it more to the left because then this flower would be, would be cut. And I didn't, I didn't want it. So here it is, now I am going to trim this edge, I love these big scissors, they are so cheap, they are so, so nice to use, I got them just online, looked for, I think, well, I just think I looked for scissors or maybe gold scissors because, you know, me and my slight obsession with gold. So I might have looked for gold scissors and they just popped right there. Okay. And now you can decide how you want to go with your envelope. There are two ways. Oh, why didn't I cut this? I don't know, <laughs> let me do this quickly. Um, but basically, uh, you want to decide whether you want the image in the window to be sort of permanent, and then we will glue it here, you know, so it will stay here and whatever you put into your envelope, you will, um, you kind of, you won't see it through the window. This is what you will see through the window. Or if you glue it here somewhere, of course, lined, <laughs> this is uh, 
not going to be permanent and whenever you put something into the envelope you are going to see it and i think i'm going to go with this second option so let me take my wet glue this is actually my usual magic glue well it's called magic it's not magical uh, but they changed the the, the packaging it's in and I'm excited about this. It will take me a little bit of time to adjust, probably, but maybe this one won't break as often, you know, because you may be familiar with my struggles with this glue. I love it, but the, the old packaging was from like metal or something like this and it kept just breaking over and over and that was so frustrating mm -hmm. yeah so we have this now we can bend our uh, piece that's going to be the flip or the hinge part and here is what our altered envelope flip pocket will look like and it will flip oops, like this now i am of course not a fan of this background we want to do something here so normally i would probably do some something like a journaling space on the back but since this is going to be not a journal but an ephemera folio i'm not going to add any like journaling spaces that are going to be glued here or something like this i think i'm just going to add some more collaging and maybe later we will just add a pocket or maybe not collaging maybe i actually want to add this piece you know what guys i love it so much and it's i mean look how gorgeously it fits so and also this part will cover our white here so it's a double win <laughs> i'm just going to cut the white background and we will see how we like it these papers are just so beautiful and so beautifully grungy already that you don't have to do much with them you don't have to ink them you don't uh, you, you really don't have to do much so having said that <laughs> i'm just going to glue it straight onto the back of my envelope the back of my hinged part here mm -hmm like like this we can always add a pocket to the back here to make it more interesting or usable uh -huh. like this and we can of course cut off the excess oops there's some some glue here So, cutting off here. So I'm actually filming this video very shortly after the first one. So for you, it's probably Sunday. Yes, Sunday. And for me, it's still Saturday, Saturday evening. Um, so I've had dinner and a little bit of cheesecake i'm so full yeah i never eat this much uh, on a regular basis but there is so much food left after christmas and i hate wasting food obviously that i just feel like i have to eat all the time so i feel so full all the time and we talked with my boyfriend and we decided that next year we're not going to uh, make all that food we're not going to have that much food 
just because it's tradition, you know, we are going to uh, have as much food as we need, as much food as we can eat without feeling the pressure of eating all the time so that nothing gets wasted because it just, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I'm going to maybe ink, ink a little bit here and there. I still feel I need to trim this. I don't want this orange poking through through here. This is the envelope. The junk mail envelope is from my bank. This is ING and their color, the primary color, their brand color, I guess, is orange and I'm not really an orange person. <laughs> So whenever I'm using them, I want to cover all the orange that I can. And I do have, I can see that I do have a little bit here, but I'm not, going, sorry, I'm not going to worry about that now. Uh, let me just take my bone folder so I can flatten this out like this. Okay, guys, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stitch with my sewing machine here and I think we will do a little bit of like an indent here or maybe here to make it interesting so that you can see obviously that it is a pocket when it's uh, glued down. Now let's glue this. Let's glue our flap and I think this is lovely. I think I'm going to use double-sided tape because it it's very, again, it's very sturdy and it's very thick. It has the envelope and two sheets of paper. So you want some adhesive that will actually hold it down. I don't trust my glue stick to do that. Um, my wet glue could probably work, but for some reason I just, I like double-sided tape and I trust it will work and it will do its job. So that's what I'm going for here and I want this kind of in the middle like between top and the bottom and this way so that my my stitching here shows mm -hmm. okay I love it it's very pretty isn't it guys those papers just make it so so cool <laughs> now let me take my um, circle punch and I'm going to add a half circle indent somewhere here. I would usually do it more in the middle or maybe to the top, but I kind of like it here. I'm going to add a little bit of inking to this and also a little bit of gold. So. When you look at this, you see at first glance, sort of, too much of this, uh, that this is, that there is something here. <laughs> and we can do, when we make ephemera for this, we can do a journaling card or a journaling tag with um, like a circle tab, maybe, something, something like this. <laughs> So, so pretty. Okay, now for here, I think I would like a large pocket, but I definitely don't want to cover the background with my pocket. So I'm going to do the pocket with vellum. It's great because it's transparent or semi-transparent, you know, you can see through it, but it just mutes it a little bit and in my eyes, it gives uh, your project a interesting look. So I'm just going to mark where I want to cut my my paper, my vellum, here and maybe here. Now I'm going to cut it quickly. and like 
this and I also want to round the bottom corners so here I have some corner rounder punch I don't usually use this one I don't know oh, yeah. I don't like it oh no almost no this one doesn't oh it's broken I think uh, this is my this one from We're Memory Keepers is the one I use most often and I really like it. Okay, so we have this and I also want to punch the edge with my trusty lace um, punch and I always say it that this punch was I think the cheapest um, the cheapest border punch that I could find and I love it and I use it so much so you don't have to have fancy expensive supplies you know to do beautiful things and to actually enjoy what you're what you're doing and creating that's so that's so lovely okay now for it to stand out I do need to ink around the edges because um, otherwise it would just get lost in the background that's, that's what I feel at least and I'm going to use a very thin double-sided tape to to attach it to my to my cover mm -hmm. yeah somewhere here I think it's lovely okay Here is my thin uh, double-sided tape. So let me take a few pieces of it. And I'll try to go close to the edge, but not close enough that I'm actually going over the edge. And I get this tape on Amazon. I just search for double-sided tape and I um, and I search for tapes that uh, they are in the description it says that they are easily torn because some of the tapes like you can't really tell with your fingers and you have to cut with your scissors and it takes like additional time and I wanted those which can be easily torn and these these are perfect and they come in several different widths as well Mm -hmm. So where do we where do we put it here? I believe here. Mm -hmm. And the double si sided tape is pretty much invisible um, under the vellum right now. So and I like how the pocket peeks through here and through here. It just adds different layers, different textures of things. So yes, this is pretty. And now, what could we do on this side? What could we do? I would want to... Do I want to add some something fun, like some, uh, some interactive element? I wouldn't want to make it too bulky, because we are still going to have our pages. Oh, let me think, guys. Hmm. Since we are upcycling, how about we use one more of these junk mail envelopes? So this piece is really going to be made out of junk and of course beautiful papers which are not junk, but the construction of it is going to be made out of things that you would probably usually throw out and I'm going to see how it looks. So I'm going to make a big pocket let me just see how this will look. So I want just the front side of this envelope. So just the side with the window. So I'm going to cut it on all four sides to actually open it. Mm -hmm. 
And in this case, I think we are going to leave the window without, um, yeah, like this or like this, without adding anything into it. We are just going to collage maybe the uh, outside because we have these beautiful dried flowers and a piece of this pretty paper. I just wanted a little, a little shorter because I do want to see my stitching. Is this going to work? Yes, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to look so cute and now I have to think if I want to actually collage or maybe add a page like we have here and cut the window because we still have some, some pages to use and some of them are actually a bit more vertical than they are not vertical, horizontal than they are vertical so they could look nice. I'm just sorry, I'm off camera. I'm just looking through these pages that we still have left. I have got a couple more. Here I have this one and this one. Oh, and this one is so cute. Okay, these are upside down, but I'm actually drawn to this. We are kind of going with pinks and purples in this, in, uh, in here. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to roughly cut, cut here. Make sure I'm not cutting my folio. And uh, roughly cut here. Mm -hmm. Now, this I'm of course saving. Now I will take, I will take the same die, and I think I'll just do the same thing. Only this will be a like a glued down pocket, and I will won't be uh, sewing around it. So yes, gilding, stitching, and all this stuff. Here it is, and look how gorgeous it is. I love it. And we are going to glue it here. But first I want to make our indent or our notch or however it should be called. And I'm going to do it on the side as well, just to keep things consistent and interesting. And I'm doing the same thing with inking and and the gold and a little bit more here <coughs> mm -hmm. and I'm going to go with gold just over this notch here kind of make it more visible make it pop mm -hmm. and I am going to take my double-sided tape yes double-sided tape I think and where's my thin one here Hmm. Or maybe it's too thin. Let me check if I have it. Uh, maybe this one will be a bit better. I'm going to attach it to my page. Okay. Now there is obviously gold everywhere. It always gets everywhere when I use it, especially probably because I use it with my fingers. If I just use, use the paintbrush, then it probably would be much cleaner, but I kind of prefer the control that I have with my fingers and also the kind of the, the randomness. Okay, we only see this. And I, Honestly, I love it. I love how, how this color of this flower just matches the flowers that we have here. Cute pocket, cute, cute. 
junk mail pocket. Okay guys, so we have the first big pocket here, then the second pocket here, and we also have a pocket here. We are of course going to be adding our pages, but can we maybe add a pocket here as well? Maybe some tag spot? Hmm. I'm just thinking... How about... How about I use a piece of vellum, but I cut a triangle out of it. So maybe I'll just fold it kind of the way I want it. I'm going to try to cut there. Well, it's not a perfect triangle by any means. And that's fine. We are not going for perfect here, are we? Did I cut it all the way through? Almost. Okay. And now, hmm, what I thought is would I actually be able to, is it to? Yeah, it is, but it doesn't matter. Uh, would I be able to punch this edge and would it actually look nice? <laughs> Let me try this. We need one more on this side. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute and we actually see, oh sorry, <laughs> well you guys can't see it, but it looks like this. We will see it more clearly when we ink it up. I want to round this corner and ink this tag spot up and we, it's nice because we see the flower on, on this page through it. So. It's always nice, you know, it's, of course we are going to put ephemera in it. But it's nice, I think, when you take out the ephemera to have a beautiful image under, under your tag spot, under your pocket. It kind of reveals itself. It's like an additional surprise, you know. So I hope my, my customer is going to be surprised. Well, unless she's watching. <laughs> uh, but, but she's going to like the the things that I'm going to put in these pockets, but also the images that kind of will reveal themselves when she takes the ephemera out. And now I need my thin double-sided tape. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to again attach it. Okay. So it's going to be yet another another pocket. And this is just the, the cover, <laughs> the inside cover. We haven't even started with the pages. And I think I'm going to go a little bit lower here under the stitching. Mm -hmm. Like this. Perfect. Yes, I really like it. And it's just above the notch here, so it worked perfectly and we can slip something here. And it also matches this pocket. Okay, I'm very happy with how this is turning out. Now let's see if this thing still closes. It does. <laughs> so I think we are ready to start adding our pages. This is so exciting. Hmm. So I have a few pages already picked, but I think, yes, I need one more to pair with this one. And I'm thinking this, this is just gorgeous. So let me quickly uh, maybe cut the white edges off. 
And if you guys don't remember from the from the first part of this video, or maybe you haven't seen it, how I'm going to go with the pages is I'm going to use two of these one-sided kit pages, fold them together and glue or stitch them together so that uh, I will have one page on the one side and the other on the other side. And also there will be space left in between them. So between each page or between two pages there will be a pocket a full-sized pocket for bigger ephemera pieces for journaling spots stuff like that and this one i want to fold inside mm -hmm. i hope when i show you what i mean you'll you will get my meaning because as always, it's a bit hard for me to explain things in English, but I do hope what I do kind of explains it better. And look, guys, look how beautifully it corresponds. I, I don't know. I like working with beautiful papers just gives me so much joy, so much joy, guys. Hmm. Okay, and before we bind the pages, before we do like stitch them together, I think I'm going to go page by page and see what kind of uh, pockets I want here. I want add added to them because I think it's easier done when they are not stitched yet. Let me just take a sip of water here. And I'm going to check what I have printed from this kit, from the, the Among Wildflowers kit, because maybe we can actually uh, use something from that. All of these pieces are obviously beautiful and I can't, I can't wait to use them. Beautiful envelopes, some fun uh, banners. Oh, the tabs. I know I want to use the tabs and how lucky that there are four and we have four pages. That's awesome. So the tabs, definitely. We have the big envelope. We have, oh, we have some cute smaller envelopes. This big one. And we have, oh, and we have the pockets. Oh, and these are like layered pockets. Yep, bottom and then pocket A, B and C. Yeah, we are, we are doing this guys, <laughs> we are doing this. And then we have these which also could be used. So what I will do is I will start with cutting this out, these out because uh, these I know I want to use. Not sure if I want to make them in like a like this huge layered pocket because I'm just afraid that if I add so many pockets on just one page and then fill them with ephemera that I'm actually going to um, to end up with a um, well my my ephemera folio is going to end up being too chunky to be able to close it, you know, comfortably. I don't know how much bulk our Velcro dots can, can take. But I love the idea of those um, layered pockets and for, for a folio with less pages or for a journal, they would be awesome. Maybe I'll just do two, two of them, like, like a layered, layered, two layered pockets. Well, we'll see because only one of them has the patterns, but of course I've also printed and I still have some of the pages left from the kit. So we could make one, one of those pockets of our own with some patterns on it. Maybe we can just add some collaging on top of one of them. 
add a label maybe there hasn't been any labels in this project yet mm -hmm. like this and with the tabs I'm not too careful because they are going to be hidden anywhere uh, anywhere anyway okay let me see how how this will look and where where can I put it I was thinking maybe this page because this is quite plain and I wouldn't be covering any beautiful flowers or maybe here so that my foxglove is still peeking through here so this is I think yeah it goes like this this is pocket a like that b like that something something like that and see hmm maybe i'll actually do it like this i really like it i really do like it okay so let me fold them and yeah i think i'm going to actually make them like this like they were meant to be so we have the first pocket maybe i'll just move it from the cover or i'll just move the cover up for now because it's just making me it just making it uh, it it is making working a bit harder for me <laughs> my tongue would tie it here a little bit mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear my neighbors they are so loud today so loud I don't know they have kids at least at least a couple I think <laughs> maybe more let me see if she gave because Oh, yeah, it goes like this, of course. So, like that. So I'm going to use double-sided tape again here. And this very thin one. And start gluing the pockets. And I'm going to leave this one open on the back. So that it's like an additional pocket. So yeah, so my neighbors from the upstairs, they have a... At least a couple of kids, maybe three even. And they really like to sing. <laughs> and they sing. It's it's not just sit the singing, you know. If the kids were just singing, I guess that would be okay. And I wouldn't hear it that much. But they love to sing to a very loud music. So their parents, I suppose, they... Turn the music, like turn the, and I did it. Oh no 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 no! I did it incorrectly. This was supposed to go, like the other way around. This was supposed to be the top, and this was supposed to be the bottom. But I guess it's done now. So I'm just going to cover up the rounded corners with my pocket number two. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So yes, so the parents turn the volume of the music so high up and it sounds like they are in the next room, you know, not in another apartment. They sound like they are in the next room and sometimes it sounds like they are just next to me in the same room. So this is ridiculous and the music is... Oh guys, I... I don't know, maybe it's because I don't have children yet, but I just don't want to listen to kids' songs all day long and they play on repeat. <laughs> so yes, so the kids really like singing. And on one hand, I'm just a bit irritated, you know, that the music is so loud. I I don't suppose it should be so loud given, you you know, people have neighbors. Uh, but on the other hand, I always smile a little bit because these kids, they just sound so happy and it's nice, you know. 
that despite the quarantine, having to sit at home because they sing all day long, so I know they are not at school or preschool or anything. They sit home all day and and they are still happy and energetic, so that's nice. But I do wish the music was just a little bit, just a little bit quieter. Yeah, but they are not singing today. It sounds, I haven't heard them for two days, so it sounds like they may be left for Christmas. But today it definitely sounds like they have some guests. So I'm sorry if you can hear the noises. But I really, there's not much I can't, I, I can do with, with, with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. One, two. And our third pocket here. These really are so fun. This is a great idea. I love my porch prints, uh, the shop um, on Etsy. And I think she has some of the most brilliant ideas among um, digital creators that, well, I know. Uh, some of the most brilliant ideas for ephemera pieces. And I just, I admire her so much. I admire her so much, so much imagination. And you would think that a layered pocket like this is quite a simple idea, but still, I mean, I haven't seen it before. I haven't seen anyone else oh, come on up. actually do this. So I guess it's not that simple <laughs> to come up with. It is very fun. I love it. I love it. One, two, three, and we also let this open. So there is four pockets. Nice. It is going to add bulk. I can already see it, but I hope uh, we will be able to close our <laughs> to close our um, book. Now, what else could we have? So these pages are so beautiful that I actually, I don't want to cover them too much. So I'm going to have to work around the images. But for the center, I'm pretty sure I just want to go with the vellum, with the vellum pockets like I did on the, on the cover. So I'm going to... Where's my paper cut? Oh, it's here. I'm going to cut this here. And I want them um, kind of the same height. Ooh, kind of, maybe I can trim a little bit of this one. Now, I mm, just want to mark with my pencil where I want these. And I have to remember that I'm going to have some stitching on each page. So I'm going to make them slightly like narrower mm -hmm, here. And I'm just checking if I can... Um, but of course, I'm not going to have stitching on this side because this side is going to be left open. So that's all good. And somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Because I want them to be even, I'm going to cut them together. Like that. Mm. Now, quickly punching the corners. 
it's going to be so much fun making ephemera for this i can't wait and we can use some some other packaging stuff that i have in my trash box i can't wait like this so to keep things consistent i'm going to round the corners and ink those pockets well i'm mostly inking them to just make them more visible on the busy background but i love how they don't cover the background you know they just make it a little bit more muted guys working on uh, are you working on any crafting projects right now i'm very interested i'm always interested to know what you're making what you're working on or maybe what you're planning to do soon i'd love to know i apart from from this project which i'm making for for a customer of mine i am working on four more journals so i've actually made five journal covers one of them is already a finished journal and this is the custom order journal that i told you about and i'm making this ephemera folio to go with it and the four covers I love how they turned out. I am so excited about them. I've used some new techniques for painting and distressing and they look so vintage. They look so old and oh, I really like them. I really, really am excited about sharing them with you. And I decided to do something different for these journals and I decided to make all the pages hand torn and inked and guys i kid you not it took me two whole days to tear like i was tearing you know with my hands not not with my ruler so it took me two days and some to tear all the pages and ink them up and i was so sick of inking at the end <laughs> and then I'm not even done, you know, I'm not, I haven't even done all the pages yet, so that's fun, that's, that's me, that's just me, I, I know you guys would have liked the journals without all the pages um, torn, but I still decided I want to make my life harder <laughs> and uh, tear all the, all the edges on four journals, four big hardcover journals to be exact so each one of them is going to have three or four signatures something like that <laughs> and but so i have all these pages stacked next to me not all i'm not i'm not quite done yet but i love them i love the look of it and i have wanted to make a journal with all the pages torn for the longest time so i'm very happy with it i'm very happy with with how it turned out and yeah despite the fact that it took me ages to do ages maybe this pocket one of these pockets here let me let me see i don't want to cover up uh, too much of this illustration but if i cover up just a little bit that may be nice so these journals are going to definitely be something different for, for me because I've never done journals 
with all the pages torn. But I love the look of it. It's so grungy, but it's also so beautiful. And oh, I love, I love making journals. <laughs> I just love making journals. So yes, yeah, so I'm making five, well, four, four now, four at the time. And they are going to be going to my Etsy shop, hopefully in January. But before that happens, I want to do some fun things inside of them. And I want to make some uh, videos from the process for you guys. So we will be making some very fun. Yes, I like it. The only thing I don't like, I think, is the straight edge. So I'm going to tear it since we are in the topic of tearing. <laughs> uh so yes so there will be some tutorials and some of them will be tutorials for those cool flips that i did for where well, i thought they were cool i hope you did too uh for my wallpaper big wallpaper journal the, the big one the big guy that i shared with you um just recently so and there will be some new ones probably too. I just want to make these journals full, chunky. Um, I have made a few journal collections in, in the past that were mostly just beautiful papers and I love it. This is how I make my own journals. But I also know that there are those of you who prefer your journals a little bit more embellished and a little bit more interactive and i love making journals like this so with this collection i'm just i'm just going to go you know full on with flips and pockets and interesting bits and stuff like that okay let's uh, stick this pocket down and again i will just have to make sure um the that i'm going to have space for stitching so i don't want to go too close to the bottom edge or the or the left edge here this is where i'm going to stitch and the side was going to be open. So I love it. I love how this branch and these birds are just picking out like through from this pocket. Okay, what else could we do? So we have this, we have these, and um, I think it would be nice to add some more pockets, some more pockets here and there i think maybe here or not here maybe here uh, and here yeah maybe here and there i would like to add again vellum pockets let me take just one more sheet of vellum and i will just add a re regular pockets per page probably that I usually add to my ephemera holders so again making sure I have space for stitching and I want it somewhere here okay let me let me trim this down I really need to find myself a good desk chair because the one I am sitting in right now is just not perfect it's not bad but it was quite cheap and it's not the best for my back and if I sit here for a few hours straight my back really starts hurting and I would like to avoid it obviously <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these pockets, but I'm just, I think I'm just going to do one on camera so you guys can see what I'm going to do. Yeah, so I just do one on camera. And again, I'm going to first punch the edge. And my pockets are four centimeters 
tall but of course they are going to be shorter when I am punching this edge but it doesn't matter because they still can hold some nice ephemera pieces and they can be used for smaller ones so here is how I'm doing this I'm going to um, well what, what did I do <laughs> I rounded my corners mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to do one on camera and then stop the camera and do the rest because, well, I'm just going to do the exactly same process. I don't want this video to be super, super long, but I still want to do some fun things with you. So I'm just using again double-sided tape, a thin one to glue my uh, to glue to stick my pocket. Mm -hmm. Oops, what is it? Just a piece. Oh, I didn't clean after punching. That's why I now have some pieces sticking to my double-sided tape, which is not fun. <laughs> okay. And this one is going to go somewhere... somewhere here. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to add one more here. And maybe either on this page or on this page or maybe on both of them and then we can do something fun here because we have a little bit more space here so guys i will be back in a sec with you all right so we have two pockets on this page and two on this page we have this pocket here then two large vellum pockets here we have um, the triple pocket here, we have two vellum pockets here and now for this um, piece uh, or for this page I was thinking maybe of using this envelope. Uh, let me quickly cut it out and we'll see how it looks. Uh, unfortunately if I glue it this part is probably going to be covered we'll see how it looks but you know like i always say with digitals you can you can always reprint it and reprint it and reprint it and the next project i'm going to use this envelope for will will show the beautiful back of it but maybe we can do something about it uh, let me just cut those little notches and we will see how it looks on the page when it's all cut and folded. So now I think I need to fold along these lines. Okay, so this is my flap. It's beautiful. I hope I am in focus. I think I am. I hope I am. <laughs> oh, I have one more here that I did not cut. like this mm -hmm. and then here this needs to be straighter and here okay so this is so cute this little metal on the back and on the front it uh, would actually look like this we need to cut a little bit more here yep so we could i was thinking of gluing it right here is there anything i could do to have the whole image i could glue it like 
this with the flap and it would flip like this and there could be a pocket with some ephemera hmm what do you think about this guys this looks like a cute i don't know like a house shape it's so cute and then it flips and we would have our little pocket here i actually think i like it so let me quickly glue down my 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 flaps and, and i want also i want to ink the inside a little bit at least the part that we are going to see so if we glue it like this we are only going to really see this so i'm just going to use what i already have on my blending tool and add it to this crease here to distress it just a little bit you can also add some on this on these edges mm -hmm. maybe here and on this crease too mm -hmm. i really like it okay so now Mm -hmm. so fun uh, let me use the same glue maybe so my wet glue this one the magic glue and I'm going to glue it like this here very fun i really like it i like how it looks okay guys so so sweet uh i think now is the time for me to to do the stitching so yes so as you can see i have two pages together they are not perfectly the same size, but that's okay because I can fix it when I stitched around them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch all of them on three sides. One, two, three, leaving the side open. So again, one, two, three, leaving the side open. And it will give us all those uh, full-sized pockets that we could pack ephemera into. And then we will bind it and we can also add some paper tabs to it. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, a little vision update. <laughs> so my vision was to have the full sized pages on all of the pages, but I was kind of getting a little bit worried about how chunky this was getting, given our closure and all. So I only decided to have the full-sized pages on the front and the back page and then these I just stitched all around. So they are regular pages with just the pockets that we've added and I've just used a simple straight stitch to stitch them. And now I think we can, we can actually stitch them to our cover. Um, so I'm going to do it using the pamphlet stitch as usual three whole pamphlet stitch should be just perfect so i will i'm kind of lining my pages with my cover and now i'm taking my two oops two large pa paper clips here and here to hold it in place here's my pokey book and my uh, my all and as per usual I am eyeballing everything unless I'm doing a journal for for little projects like this I I boil I kind of eyeball where I want my uh, holes because um, because I like the imperfect look and for journals I measure everything because for journals for first of all of course there is many many more pages in a journal sorry i'm just looking for a string 
that I want to use up here in this. Um, this is linen string, linen thread. So first of all, in a journal, there's many more pages. Uh, and second, well, they are probably used more often than ephemera folios like this. And I'm taking a lot of string because I want the tails or like the ends of my string to be long and uh, so that I can uh, add some beads to them as usual <laughs> to add some more decoration. So yes, yeah, so with my journals I measure everything. I spend time to make sure my binding is as precise and as uh, well made as possible but with those like handmade gifts I like the imperfection I actually like the the imperfection so as you can see I'm starting from the outside this time usually I would start from the inside but I want my uh, my stitching to end on the outside so I can add some beads and charms and I took much much too much string but that's okay it's better to have too much because i can then use this piece that i have left for something else than to have too little and if you are wondering if you are wondering how to how to stitch your signatures with the whole three hole pamphlet stitch and this what I did here was not clear to you I have a lot of tutorials so check the description box and any tutorial where I talk about uh, making journals they are listed there will show you how to make uh, how to sew or bind your signatures with the three hole pamphlet stitch mm -hmm. Now I'm going to cut them sort of the same length and this nice piece I will definitely keep and reuse or use for something else. I can remove the clips now and I always love the, the kind of the look of the projects where the pages are stitched and we have our, our cute little ephemera book. I love how it turned out. I love it. This is so fun and it's all made from trash, from from basically things that we would usually throw away or I would usually throw away, you know. Okay, so I think today the last thing that I want us to do is to add some beads to the ends here and then and then tomorrow we are going to be making some ephemera <laughs> some ephemera for this so i'm just going to maybe pick one charm oh, those butterflies butterfly with the flowers on the wings is so cute so let me pick this one and let's see what beads i could use um i have some purple ones Maybe these ones. How would this look? Yeah, I could take one of these. Maybe a couple of these that looks like pearls. Oh, don't run away. <laughs> don't don't run away. My desk isn't perfectly straight. So yes, they are running away from me. These beads. Oh, I have this nice. This is a porcelain be bead with some purple flowers, which match, oh. <laughs> which uh, matches the the flower, the yes, the flowers that we have. So for this one, I actually want the beads, I think, to start beneath the the cover just to make it kind of comfortable to open the cover. So I'm going to take, some of them are not, like the holes are not very clean. So I just go with my, with my awl and, and redo the holes. Maybe this small one. Mm -hmm, the same thing here so my string won't won't go through ok 
okay and i want them somewhere here maybe The, the string is very thin, so I'm going to make a second uh, knot. I'll try to make the second knot in the same place uh, where the first one is because I want it to be thicker. Otherwise, the beads are going to go down, down it. Okay, so it's not as low as I hoped, but that's fine. And here maybe, uh, oh, and I know I could use maybe this one. And, and maybe one more of these pearly, pearly looking ones. And the small one, the tiny one actually. Mm -hmm. So I would have this like sort of the second, sorry, not sure if you can see what I'm doing, like the second group of beads. This is not going to go through. So here's what we would have. And on this one, I think I will just put the charm, make a knot. This is the good place for it and I'm going to double knot it just to make sure the string won't, won't come undone. Mm -hmm. Now I can move it to the back. Cut the excess here and here. Oops. Here. And here's the, the little decoration that we have. It's so cute. And it just gives this little nice sound so it's very cute okay guys so let's let's sum up what we've done today okay so today we've done the inside of our folio and we have this pocket from an altered window envelope from junk mail envelope and this has space to put something inside and this nice notch and it flips and we have a tax spot here then we have a pocket here then we have our pages which are stitched or bind uh, bound to the uh, folio and we have two pockets here two here the bigger pocket here two big pockets here the middle of this little signature then our little layered pocket um, more pockets here and this cute little envelope flip which i really love and then the big pocket on the back uh, with the window again so and then it closes nicely with our velcro and we have some decoration on the on the strings as well so yeah i love i am loving this project i'm loving how this is turning out and i'm very excited to craft with you tomorrow and make ephemera for uh for this so see you then bye